painting on this house out here now. And uh, what I was going to do is just give you a couple of tips, man, about when you're painting. Uh, like when you're opening the can up, you don't try to open it all at one time. You're going to work it. Go around and work it like that until you finally get it open. Be careful. Hold on to the lid. Otherwise, when it pops off of there, you'll get paint all over you. Okay, and all over the floor and what have you. So control it. If, if you're taking it and you're painting out of a bucket, let's say I'm painting out of this bucket, da, 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 you don't just dip your paintbrush in there and then go to paint. You put your brush in and you wipe it off on the side, on one side of it. Okay? Once you get done painting, you want to make sure that you always clean this lip up around there. If you don't, when you put your paint lid back on there and put it down on there, it's going to bind itself to it. And you either you won't be able to hardly open the can if you don't clean that off. Plus, it'll have a mess too. So, let's say that I was going to paint something. If I was going to trim it in over here, now I'm going to get some paint on the brush. And let's say that's like the edge of the can. See how I wipe that off? I've got it loaded with paint. I can walk anywhere I want to without making a mess. If I do it like that, see? If you're trimming that, that corner out, you trim out both sides of it, it gives you a little more room when you go rolling it, okay? Now if I was trying to cut a line there, well, I'm going to load up with paint, mock it off so that I got some paint on there. If you're trying to cut a line, then you're gonna, you want to use the brush like that. That's how you cut a real nice straight line. Okay? And you always try to smooth it in there a little bit. So that's basically how you do your brush work and stuff, and the rest of it's just practice mostly. <coughs> when you get to uh, when you get to rolling on, you know, like if, you, if we was to watch one of the shows they have on now, they say do all this crazy stuff like this and go everywhere. There's too many chances to make little marks and stuff in your paint. You want to make sure you get a good even coat on your roller. And like if I'm trying to cut this edge in over here, you always want to make sure that your, your bar is on the other side of it so that you don't scratch the wall up and you got paintings up there. I always like to do about half of it, roll it over and get it thick. And then you want to get real close to it and knock that little edge down that you made right there like that. Okay, come back, do a little more on it. Same thing, it's real light on this first, first stroke because you don't want to take all your paint off of it. And then you can come over to the next one. A little bit harder, a little bit harder all the way and keep going. You notice that I'm, I don't have it cut in up there around the top, but that's because I'm going to add a piece of trim to it. And that way it, it saves me the time of going up there and having to cut it in. One other trick to it is, is you watch like whenever I get this finished out, this little bit of this wall right here, nice and even cold, a little bit harder pressure the further I go over so I get paint out of the roller. Okay. And when I get that, I'm going up past where I, where I came down at, and I'm, that's what you call back rolling right there. And what that's going to do is knock all your lines that the roller has made down and give you a real nice flat finished paint job. And that's basically all you got to do <laughs> to get a real good job. You know, so we don't trim around the bottom either because your 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 base molding. Your crown mold is going to take care of that. When you're doing walls like this, all you got to do is cut it in the corners and go. That's a few tricks I got for you today.